2017. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck you, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking troll. <laughs> Fucking troll. Okay. Oh, my face. Um, face. The next topic is man. Is it Rocco? Is it your topic? I think it's me. Uh, let's yeah. do this. Okay. Let's talk about the. Uh, let's talk about the master plan, guys. Yeah. Um, have you guys heard about Elon Musk's master plan? Yeah, sure have. Uh, anybody Tesla else? Tesla and stuff. Yeah. Did you read anything about that recently? Uh, briefly. Yeah, briefly. Briefly. Yeah. Go ahead and okay. give us the, the rundown on it. Okay, so um, a few little tangents beforehand, okay? I, I, we know we've brought up this guy uh, quite a few times in his companies and things like that, and this guy really is like a huge role model for me, okay? Tesla and or it, Elon Musk? No, Elon Musk. Okay. So, like, so the one thing that I did recently is, um, like, uh, we talked about last week, you guys weren't here, but uh, Clay mentioned a, a thing saying, you know, Rocco, you're goal-oriented, which is it's really true. You know, that is how I am. I have, we built a dream board the other day, right? Yeah. And this dream board's got a whole bunch of things. I know you can't really see it, but it's got a whole bunch of different things that we're, like, working towards, like, goal-oriented towards. You know what I mean? Giving us these images that says, okay, we're just going to be these little steps in between that we're going to have to do to get to these big images. And during those days that are really terrible during those little steps, just keep focusing on the big image and remembering that's why you're working toward. That's what you're working towards, you know? Mm -hmm. Well, Elon Musk released this, this article called The Master Plan speaking about pretty much his dream board. It was a 10-year dream board that he had when he was creating Tesla. And what he spoke about was like how he had his goals like set up. Like for example, one of them, the first goal was create a low volume car which would necessarily be expensive. He wanted a very expensive car that he was going to produce, a sports car. And a lot of people were like, "Oh, he's just catering to the, you know, to the rich people. He's just doing this because they couldn't they it just seemed so random to them." Um, but if you were to see why he was doing the steps he was doing, he was doing it so that he could accumulate a lot of money um, and be able to fund this whole program, this idea, this goal that he had himself because he felt like there was a lot of risk that could happen to push it against from becoming a reality. Because we're talking about electric cars here, right? In a fossil yeah. fuel world, you're talking about like a $100,000 electric car too on top of it. You're like, there's a lot of things that just like, this could fall apart and not even work and be successful. So he wanted to take that money, create the $50,000 car, take that money to eventually create the very high volume car where he can sell a lot of for $30,000. So he had these steps that he wanted to take um, to be able to get to where he's at kind of currently. Uh, he also worked on the same thing, not just with the Tesla Motors, but he did the same thing with Solar City, his company about trying to convert people over to solar panels. He said that he was wanting to like grow them to their own little stages until they can eventually become one merged company because the idea and the intent is to move into sustainability, right? And we can't be thinking of them as like vehicles, sustainability, houses, sustainability. We just need to think everything sustainability, you know? Mm -hmm. So his direction eventually is that he says like we have to move into a sustainable life, right? We know that fossil fuels eventually go away. We have a lot of yep. data that shows that science scientists say that higher, you know, uh, carbon carbon, you know, output. Uh, output is, you know, whether it's the ocean or the air, it's, it's causing some major issues right now. So why not push into the sustainable direction? Because obviously we want humanity to have a future and we want it to be happy, right? So we need to start working in that direction now. He's pretty much forcing the hand. So he sold his, his company, PayPal, to start this whole goal process that eventually is working down towards every house, pretty much every car, being electric and ran through solar and then even being able to be capable of driving itself to eventually like remove uh, you know health safety on the road um, and even seen software that's that's working on trying to be prejudiced towards manual drivers so that you can still do your manual driving but the automatic driving cars would like go to the right lane and let you pass or do something so that it kind of keeps them away and keeps them safe I mean moving into this direction and this isn't his next 10 year plan as he's showing the next steps that he's going to be taking to do the whole merger that I was talking about in the direction of eventually getting everybody moving into this. So I guess my point really is just like speaking about a few different things. One, a guy, one guy is making a dramatic influence. It might turn the course of the future of the world, like United States right now. The world, in, right? In, his li in the world eventually, in his, in his lifetime. You know what I mean? To think about that kind of power too as well. Like to well, think it, about... If you really think about it, it's just his. It's his uh, drive. It's it's him making this happen. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's a smart thing. So I mean, determined people can change the world. Yeah, exactly. You know? 
So I, w I think, Clay, we were talking about a little bit briefly before about like how there's a lot of billionaires and, and businessmen and all these different stuff that are making these huge amounts of sums of money but really aren't doing like what Elon Musk is doing. Right. You know? They're not converting that. They're not taking that money and then converting it into how they're going to actually change the future of the world in a very positive way. Right. I mean, obviously, they're changing the world just in a, I mean, it might be in a selfish sense. Um, but Elon Musk seems to be doing the complete opposite of that. Which I think is a, it's great to go solar, and I, I know that he's getting a lot of pushback too, as well from major oil companies and everything. Because if you think about it, you start going away from that, companies, people's livelihoods will be gone. I mean, there's so much that relies on that one industry right there. Job wise, yeah. So yeah. I mean, and when you start having energy for free, you know, you don't have power companies, you don't have gas stations you don't have all these things yeah so it yes it would be better for the world you know in, in the long run the health yeah in, in the but long run did, oh, go ahead i was just gonna say if you did those roadways that they're talking about that can power entire cities and everything they still have to have people to work on those i'm sure that they won't last forever you know what i mean exactly and so then you start to generate people that can maintain them work on them um, it creates a whole new industry, which could eventually replace the other ones. What do you guys right. think about that kind of lifestyle? Like, like so I'm Ian, I you drive a truck. Uh, mm -hmm. You're coming out with an electric truck, and it's something I'm, I'm totally about right now. I mean, they're going to have really good torque. It's going to be able to charge itself up. I'm like, I like this idea. I'm sure it'll be built up to look really sexy, too. The Tesla's doing pretty oh, good yeah, looking rides. Sexy. You know? So, I mean... What do you think about that idea? Do you think it'd be something you move in a direction of? What, everybody, actually, too. You know, like yeah, of course. I mean, wh why not? Why not be able to a save money? B, mm -hmm. I mean, depending on the price of the the item. So the yeah, item. I don't know exactly what the price of their pickup is going right. to be. Their low end, the ride's going to be the thirty thousand dollar SUV. I uh, I think it would be great, you know, to not have to waste and pollute. I mean, who really wants to do that kind of stuff? Like yeah. like. Well, I don't drive the truck just because I'm real like, man. Hey, I'm, real man. No, I, yeah. I I drive my truck because I, a I love my truck, but b I need it for you know if I need to move anything. I have trailers, you know, and and all of that. So I use it. I don't just own a truck just to have a truck, you know. Right. Um. Right. So to sit there. So and, he's moving into the direction of like creating semis now too. They're creating well, yeah. semis. They're creating. Um, they're working on buses that they're looking to release around 2018. Mm. Uh, designs to as well for public and ground transportation. So it's like he's obviously taking. You know, he's. This is what's so beautiful to me, guys. It's just that goal, right? Those goal setups, right? That dream board page, essentially. It's like we're now at the point where he's got these things where they're going into effect. Like where he's talking about. Chain, you know, any type of model of car that we have currently on the road right now, converting it over to an electric car and making it like one that can drive by itself, two, it could be powered by itself and, and, and change the way the direction of like, like we, were t we were talking about, Ian, like how that heavy hand that the fossil fuels has in our entire society right now, you know, and like kind of throw, throwing them aside. That's going to be a big deal. <laughs> well, and, and if you, know, you but, think about this, you know, I understand the electric car and everything, but they also have hydrogen powered uh, on these engines that save fuel economy too. So that could mm -hmm. be another avenue, which yeah. I knew a guy that owned a company that did that and literally – you could just bring a semi up. I mean, granted, they had to do some work and add things in it and uh, basically attach these. Uh, I, I would consider it a modification on a engine to double the fuel economy. And then think about that. That's crazy for like a semi and, and stuff like that pumping so, through gas. They did the same thing with grease. Let me show you guys like how what he had created here. So he, the the, okay. the ones I was telling you is so to create the low volume car, which would necessarily be expensive. Then two, use that money to develop a medium volume car at a lower price. Then three, use that money to create an affordable high volume car. And then finally, four, provide solar panel. Uh, power, sorry, a panel to the car. Solar power. Then he says, uh, however, at this point, many of those things have already been achieved by Tesla. To, this, to the end, uh, Musk has a list of notable updates, although he goes into his ins and outs in some detail. The basics are the following. One, create solar roofs with seamlessly integrated battery storage, which he's just recently created the new battery storage for homes, which is massive. Mm -hmm. Two, expand the electric vehicle product line to address 
all major segments, which is the 2018 release of the semi and the ground transportation. Mm -hmm. Three, develop a self-driving capability that is ten times safer than the manual via massive fleet learning system. And then four, enable your car to make money for you when you aren't using it. How's that? If it has so solar if panels. an automatic driving car and you go to work, you can allow your car to go out and pretty much do Uber. Pick up somebody, drop them off, do whatever, and then come back and park itself wherever you want it to be, and it made money throughout that trip. And this is just a thought. I didn't exactly explain exactly how. It, it also, if it has the capability of, of storing solar, it has solar panels on it. It can store solar energy, like your yeah. house battery. You can sell the, that energy. To you can honest. sell the energy or use it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's step one of sustainable yeah. energy. It's really great. And then if you could, you, and like the next step is like food, which he is looking into. How do you make um, food generation cheap, free, I just want to be the freaking Elon Musk of the food side, dude. That's where I'm like trying to jump into that so fast and just go out there and be like, if, hey, man. I mean, if he can trying do to revolutionize it, like, the way that freaking food's done, man. Let's do this thing. You think <laughs> about the 3D printing combined with free energy mm -hmm. uh, combined with food. Like, I don't know what else you need at that point yeah, exactly you could build anything you want it that's so that exactly what you just said is that i told you guys before jacques fresco's idea of the future right, right. when you look at that uh venus project i told you guys before that that netflix video uh, documentary it's exactly that it's like <laughs> it's just 3d printing all these different things it's like once you got all that going on it's like you really this then you don't need money almost at that point at that time. It becomes you know, entertainment it, needs. It becomes and like it, only that's it. Hospital it, it money becomes needs. no longer existent. That means that job is no longer necessary because you have all your needs met. You know what I mean? So like wait, you're model. telling me that I could go up to like a microwave looking thing and just press a button and a burger Eventually, will come out? Eventually, that's what that would be like. That kind of technology would change anything because there it would no sound longer sound healthy at all. To a dollar bill, right? Well, they are synthetically if creating meat. Million, million dollar true. bills no longer McDonald's. has any value. But well, I think Rocco is – I mean, so there's a couple points. Ian mentioned that, like, okay, what happens to all those people's jobs for gasoline and stuff? And then – so you have that fallout. You out. find other jobs. So, like, they've done things That's now. Saying, like, they got, they got right. one a program I just recently watched called Green Jobs, mm -hmm. right? And they're, like – New jobs they, open up You can convert all those jobs yeah, into – new jobs open up. Putting the solar convert. panels on the yes. roofs. Yep. Take all the car workers and make them put solar panels on the roofs and on the ground and all yep. over and make solar farms. And there you go. You got all those and jobs. And they'll have now. upkeep on those. So, yeah. Yeah, exactly. Upkeep. Yep. So um, it's like I watched the documentary that was saying there was they were making more green jobs. Yeah, it's awesome. Um, and in the communities that were, I guess you'd say, more poverty level, and trying to get them back into the community and getting them jobs and getting them to the something that's going to be like, going to have a lot of years coming up ahead. You know, and, to build and, and solar energy is great. But another thing I think that uh, we need to tap more into is wind energy. I mean, mm -hmm. wind is always going to be pretty much round. You mm -hmm. know. Water That's too. It. Yeah. Well, yeah. You can do like hydrogen tidal. energy because I mean, if you think about it, when, what's the whole purpose of? I mean, correct me if I'm wrong. I haven't looked into this for years, but like a wave comes in and it can generate power. Correct. Mm -hmm. So. Yeah, yeah, that's what that's I'm definitely part. Water, I think it. Water energy, yeah. I think wind is not as um, sufficient, powerful, and sufficient okay. as. Yeah, from what solar. I understand, it's not in this area, not in the United yeah, States. right. It's in certain it's areas. What location? Oh, you're right. in the world. And then the way to you're get it is not as compact as a okay. tiny little solar cell. It's you need you need a whole area that's very windy, and you need these giant things to come and catch the wind. Right. So but, over I the mean, span of like five years, I've seen so many different bits of like technology or that could be built or you know start to develop that would without a doubt be able to convert us over to 100% uh, clean energy. Yeah. You know, like ones that had wind turbines in the middle of the ocean that did the wave turbine at the same time is like all these things that I've seen over the span of these years. Yeah, you that's like, absolutely. You, if you There's made no those money and in. put them all over, then pff, you, you could, without a doubt, you know. Well, so so that, 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 that's, that's, that's what's great. And I'm, what I'm saying is, yeah, have, have the solar, have the wind, have the water, do all of it together because yeah. – I, I don't know how it's all going to work, but I mean, I'm pretty sure with solar energy, you know, if it's overcast out or it storms for days on days, does that they're actually they're no, making no? That's a myth, yeah. by the way. So I, I, I don't know. That's what I was asking. So I've that's done a lot of research into solar because okay. I want to do a lot of solar, um, and I, that was one of the myths. There was that a lot okay. of people believe that clouds hinder solar panel. Okay. Uh, not, it doesn't completely hinder, but from what I understand, it, it will reduce yeah. It, it, but you still are going to accumulate. But they're energy. looking at ways. Like I believe that they're developing ways to completely neutralize that fact. I mean, it's the same. It's the same case that sometimes it can be very cloudy, but you can still get sunburned. Like, yeah. yeah, it's just actually yeah. 
so oh, yeah, it, it's, the, the, the rays come in and like it, it reflects reflecting down and it's like it's like a magnifying glass yeah, yeah. exactly so yeah and, and i know they're getting around that as well so the solar power paneling is rapidly becoming more of a probability mm -hmm. it's awesome it taxi on that so i mean anyways i just wanted to I mean, keep you guys informed about that. Like, the one big thing, though, was like I was saying, was that just the, like how awesome that was of how this guy just shows that he took 10 years to plan out an idea. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. and everybody just sees it an overnight kind of thing because we're looking at it right here, right now. We've been caught up in the shit that we've been doing our, the past 10 years. But this guy's been so, focused on well, those intents for 10 years and has now created a, a company, like you were saying, Ian Drive and all that, a company now large enough to be able to influence the entire world at some point. Yeah, you know what I mean? Awesome. Like, right. that's so, Rocco, awesome. if Elon Musk came up to you and said, I'm going to do an experiment, you have to live in a house, I'm going to build for you for two years, would you do it? A yes. <laughs> Absolutely. I thought Your you were going to say something that, else. I was like, no. I, was <laughs> I, was, I was waiting for something completely different. <laughs> I was what? expecting. Well, like, Rocco, would you like to make yeah. $100? Yeah. <laughs> 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 <laughs>